Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Last time we talked about the basics of analog digital converters. Today we are going to talk about the basic, the principle of digital, digital analog converters. So basically the names are all the same. So the resolution, linearity and so on, this is all the same. So the resolution is how many bits is my digital representation. Yeah. So if I have a 10-bit number, it's a 10-bit uh, digital analog converter. If I have uh, a 12-bit number, it's a 12-bit digital analog converter. Okay. So this is exactly the same. Important thing is yeah, that once you're digital, it is called analog, digital to analog converter. However, this step, you, you're not getting rid of the steps. You put out a certain value, yeah? and if the digital value is changing by one digit, you put another digital value, nothing in between. So these are two discrete values, even on analog side. Yeah? However, on analog side, there might be a voltage output. Yeah? No 0 to 10 volts or something like that. Yeah? However, this is always in steps. So. Every name is the same. Resolution. Linearity. And so on. Is the same then at ADCs, analog digital converters. Yeah? And Stepping to digital representation, representation cannot be avoided. So it is not really analog. Huh? How is such digital analog converter working in principle? Yeah? I show you the working principle. Let's say we have, let's do it with a 4-bit yeah? example, right here example. Four bit duck digital analog converter. The four bits are represented here in my drawing by four switches. Yeah? So have, we have here four switches. They are either open or closed. These are the switches S0, S1, S2, S3. Those switches represent the digital number. S0, all are open. If it's one, then S0 is closed and all others are open. Okay, And they can be connected to a voltage, yeah? supply voltage plus UV. Yeah? This is the supply voltage. And every switch has its own resistor. And then all are connected to each other and here we have the output voltage. Here on the other side we're going to ground. Here we have the output voltage UA or UO. This is the output voltage of our digital converter. How to reach this? We will also build in one resistor here and Rx. Okay, so we have here an R0, we have here an R1, we have here an R2, we have here an R3. And 
let's say this Rx is much, much smaller than R3. This is very tiny, yeah, or a small resistor compared to R3. And now, let's think about yeah, if here, this is I0, this is I1, this is I2, this is I3. In case, say, if S0 is closed, I0 equals UV, I am not taking this UO now into account, yeah? UV yeah? divided by R0. Because this is much smaller, so there is not that much that much voltage drop. So I can say, okay, this is almost zero compared to UV. Huh? R zero. If S1 is closed, I1 equals UV divided by R1. And so on, yeah. So I2, I3, and so on, and so on. This is always UV divided by R2 and R3. Yeah. S2 is closed, S3 is closed. And here I have Ix, and this is I0 plus I1 plus I2 plus I3. Because all the currents are reaching this point, and this has to go further. Right? This has to go further. So, and here my output voltage, UO, equals... Rx multiplied by Ix. And this is Rx multiplied by I0 plus I1 plus I2 plus I3. And all those i's are there or not, depending on the switching state of the s's. And now I make the following trick. So this I say this is a resistor R. And this I say this is R half. And this I say this is R quarter. And this I say it's divided by 8. Okay? So actually what we have here yeah, is here UV divided by R. And here we have UV divided by R and two times. And here we have UV divided by R four times because it's R quarter. And here we have UV divided by R eight times. And now Let's take this equation here. Yeah? This means u0 equals rx. And now let's add this. Yeah? uv divided by r plus uv divided by r two times plus four times uv divided by r plus 8 times uv divided by r. Okay? This is only here if 
S0 is closed. This is only here if S1 is closed. This is only here if S2 is closed. And this is only here if S3 is closed. So actually, what we have is that our output voltage is Rx divided by R multiplied by UV. And then we have 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. And this is either zero or those value, yeah? Here, zero, 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 zero. And because I've selected the resistors in a way that it somehow reflects the, the value of the digit, yeah? I can reach the output voltage reflecting the value of these digits. Isn't that cool? Huh? So the output voltage is reflecting the value of the digits because the resistors here are selected in exactly that way. In theory, this looks nice. In theory, this is working. However, you see, we have a wide variant of resistors. Even this, this is one resistor. This is only half the resistor. This is quarter. This is eight. And then you need an even smaller one. Yeah? And all must be very accurate. So I have here tiny resistors and I have here big resistors. And the big resistors must be absolutely as accurate as the tiny resistors. I cannot achieve this. I cannot achieve this. Because if I have a big resistor and it has a, a certainty, a, a accuracy of 0.1%, then this accuracy would already cover the small resistors. Yeah? I mean, if I have a 12-bit or something, it's a wide variant. Yeah? It, so this is only the principle. This cannot be built for real. Yeah? Because I would not even notice. If this is a little bit off, I would not even notice one digit more or less. This is not, this is not working. Yeah? This is why a real digital analog converter is working different. Huh? This is only the principle, so that we summarize the currents huh? and then boot it out. This, this is the working principle. Uh, so, like I said, in reality, the accuracy of the, of the parts is not that high, that we can achieve exactly that goal. Even not with 4-bit and not, not with 8-bit, 10-bit. This is simply impossible. Yeah? Next time, I'm going, to show you, I'm going to show you a variant with where we only need two resistor values. Yeah? One resistor value and a double as high R2R. Digital analog converter. How this is working. This is how this is working then in real. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.